This video is about Gittleman syndrome. This is a tubulopathy. Tubulopathies are rare, meaning that only a very small number of children have them. In your kidneys, you have about a million nephrons. Each nephron is made up of a ball-like structure called the glomerulus and a long twisty tube called a tubule. There are different names for different parts of the tubules. Each part has a different job. What comes out of the end of the tubules is your wee. Tubulopathies happen when your tubules don't work normally. In Gittleman syndrome, it's the distal convoluted tubule that is affected, and this can change how the rest of your tubule works. The job of your tubules is to balance the right amount of water and electrolytes in your body. Electrolytes is another name for salts and minerals. These come from the food you eat. Your tubules control what stays in your blood or what leaves through your wee. Having a tubulopathy can mean you lose electrolytes and water through your wee that you'd normally keep in your body or keep too much of these when you don't need them. Both can make you poorly. In Gittleman syndrome, you lose magnesium, potassium and chloride in your wee. Think of it as tiny gates or doors in each part of your tubules that stay closed or open when they normally wouldn't, leading to imbalances in your body's electrolytes. You also lose more water in your wee. Apart from balancing electrolytes and water, our kidneys get rid of waste in our wee. Electrolytes are important for helping control how much water is in your body, helping your muscles and heart to work properly, helping build strong bones and teeth, and helping your brain to work well. How you're affected depends on the type of tubulopathy you have and the age it affects you. Even two people with the same tubulopathy can be affected very differently. Some children don't feel any different and it may just be picked up on a wee or blood test. Others may notice feeling tired or weak, growing more slowly than other children their age, being very thirsty, needing to wee a lot, meaning they may get dehydrated, craving salty foods or having muscle cramps. Most tubulopathies are caused by spelling mistakes in the genes your body uses to make your tubules. Think of your genes like instructions for how to make a person. If a spelling mistake in these genes causes parts of your tubule to not work as they should, you will always have this. Finding out the exact type of tubulopathy means you can get the right treatment for you. This is done by looking for the imbalances in your body's water and electrolytes. If the tubulopathy makes you poorly, you might need to come into the hospital to be looked after. Some children may have to stay in hospital while we measure how much you eat and drink. Other times, you only need to come for clinic visits whilst we work out what's the matter. You'll have your height, weight and blood pressure measured. Your doctor will ask you for a wee sample and do blood tests at the same time. Blood tests may include genetic tests. You might also need a scan of your kidneys to look for bright kidneys or kidney stones. Apart from looking at your growth, sometimes your doctor will look at how healthy your bones are with an x-ray. Your kidney team may ask you to drink more or change what you eat. You might become dehydrated if you're weighing lots of urine and can't drink enough. You might need medicines to help balance the water and electrolytes in your body. How many medications you take will depend on how much your kidneys are affected. You need to keep taking your medication. Without them, electrolyte levels in your blood could fall too low or become too high, causing heart rhythm problems. The amount of medicines you need may change over time to keep your body's electrolyte levels balanced and prevent problems. Where you're followed up will be discussed with you and your family, so the right team looks after you. You'll have regular hospital appointments and blood and urine tests. You'll get to know your kidney team really well. Taking good care of yourself will help keep your kidneys as healthy as possible. It's important to drink the amount of water and eat the foods recommended by your kidney team. Take your medicines. Exercise regularly.
If you have any questions, feel free to ask your kidney team. We hope you have found this video useful. Please see the link below for more information and our other videos.